Hey guys, what's up? It's PK Mario, and uh, I have reasons to believe that this VHS tape here, this Herman the Mouse VHS tape, could potentially be a bootleg. Uh, so cover, um, spine, spine, top, and back. Um, now you might be wondering why I believe it's a bootleg. Well, let's take a look at the tape itself. Um, so for starters, and I didn't even, um, I believe I was eight around the time that I first got this VHS tape, um, but there was no actual label on it, I just wrote my name here and, well, all that kind of stuff, and then I wrote the name of the tape. Yeah, it's, it's kind of amazing that my handwriting has gotten a lot better over time. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, there are these real, these are the, there are these real things because, uh, um, I don't know, this is just common with a lot of tapes that don't really have that much tape inside of them. Um, but this was one red flag that I never really bothered to notice. But also another thing, you don't really see a print date on the bottom of a VHS tape. And then there's this tab thing, which allows you to record onto it, which I find kind of strange. Uh, just for reference, I'm going to show you a couple of other VHS tapes that I have. Here we have, here we have a Sony Home Theater uh, VHS tape with a, with a tab that you can break there. So that way, it's a copy protect tab, that's what it's called. There's no print date there, I just put a label from, uh, I just put a label there. Um, but yeah, also you can write stuff on the label, there's nothing printed on the VHS tape itself. Um, so this one, it, it's real, but it's got nothing on it. Well, it's technically not so... It technically wasn't produced with anything on it, but, um, yeah. Then we have this here copy of Lucy Must Be Traded, Charlie Brown. It's a Peanuts VHS tape that I got at a flea market back, um, I'd say about maybe seven or eight years ago. Um, so let's just take a look at the cover, spine, and back. And, um, and uh, as you can see, there is clearly stuff printed onto the VHS right here. Um, there is a date in which the VHS was produced. It says that the copyright date here is, uh, I'm not sure if you can quite see that, but uh, 2003. And... Uh, it says the title of the video, I, I believe that's January 9th when it was produced. Um, so this is clearly a real VHS tape that I have here. Uh, but this, this is not real, or at least I have reasons to believe that it isn't. And on top of that, the first few minutes of the tape are missing. Now, keep in mind that I haven't watched this VHS tape in quite a few years now, so... Yeah, um, just gonna... And as you can see, nothing is going on on screen. Uh, nothing whatsoever. Uh... So, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Um, and at first I thought that it was potentially because the tape was damaged or something like that, but uh, nope, the tape is actually in really good condition. Okay.
and play. Now there's something on screen. Yeah, and you miss the entire first short, which really sucks. But yeah, I mean, not the best quality. Yeah, so potentially a bootleg. I don't know. Cheeseburglar. Hmm. Yeah, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, if you think that it's a bootleg, then uh, please tell me in the comments below. And yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Bye.